Hello everyone, this is Good Tooth, and uh, this is a video about the presentation for case study of Project Firecracker for course of engineering management. And our lecturer is uh, Dr. Ilin, and our members are Hun Jikian, Kenny Chami, Ling Wai Jin, and also Lim Jia Ho. So first, I will introduce about the Project Firecracker first. The case study of Project Firecracker reveals the several critical problems and issues that significantly affect the project execution within the national corporation. And there are three major problems, which are inefficient communication, non-aligned priority setting, and the action of the project manager. The background of this case study started with the introductions of the main person for the incident, Mr. Jeff Pankow. Jeff is a chef engineer at National Corporations and is responsible for the purchase of capital equipment and the selections of production methods. National Corporation is a large company for automotive and aircraft manufacturers. The company used to apply the traditional approach in project management and the project manager plays an important role in communications across departments. This incident happens when Jeff takes over the project that the sales department refused to quote. At last, this project failed due to poor communications among different units. The first chances fell because the design could not fulfill the specifications, while the second chance was missed due to timing overdue. For alternative and solution, the first specific area that we'd like to discuss is innovation and technologies in project management. With the advance of project management software such as Microsoft Project and Zoho, it offers the features to create project plans, progress tracking, and resources allocation with greater precision. Besides, the emergence of collaborative platforms such as Slack and Microsoft Teams provide a centralized hub for the project team to communicate, discuss the project update, and share information in real time. In addition, the use of advanced data analytics and AI providing a valuable insight to project performance, potential risks, and make data-driven decisions. Therefore, project management has become more streamlined and efficient with integration of innovation and technologies. Engineering best practice is also an alternative solution as it refers to the procedure or technique that can provide a high quality, effective, and reliable engineering solutions such as agile project management. Tool like Scrum is the popular software recently because of the flexible structures to manage complex software development and provide an alternative way to present the slide. Another alternative solution in engineering best practice is perform agile practice. For instance, regular testing on the product can yield to higher quality of products by maintaining the product safety. Financial, people, and resources are crucial for the continuous development of the company. Firstly, the company should have a well-defined budget. Proper financial planning will allow proper resources allocation and risk mitigations. The financial concerns should be taken into account while analyzing and controlling project risks. Secondly, the development of a company is also closely related to a project manager with strong leadership. A good leader tends to make wise decisions for the benefits of the organizations most of the time. Transparent communications among teams is also critical to establish efficiency. Lastly, the effective resources management requires fair distributions of resources and balancing in task allocations. This can greatly reduce the conflict and delay in the projects. The last alternative and solution was the organizational and also strategy planning. The organizational planning can ensure that the organization is aligned with a common objective. Organizational planning assists in delineating these goals and ensuring that every department and individual within organization comprehends their role in achieving it. This can minimize the chance of competing priorities and facilities. And besides that, Appointing a project manager is also an organizational and strategic planning that can mitigate the risk of confusion and overlapping roles. Last but not least, formulation of contingency plan is also important in organizational and strategic planning because uh, it can enable the quick problem identification and resolution, ensuring the minimal disruption to the project timelines. To prevent the tragedy occur against like the national corporations, SWOT analysis method is one of the most important strategy planning to be implemented. It allows the national corporation to identify the strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats for a project planning and evaluate the company ability and their limits. In SWOT analysis, the strength of national corporation is having a strong background of two manufacturing histories. All of these efforts come from the good branding method and enough product exposure to the market. When it comes to the weakness, National Corporation is showing a poor communication approach between department and department. Next, 
National corporations plan to invest 20,000 in capital equipments to compute for airplane company business showing the opportunity of growing demand for high quality machines, components and tools. Last but not least, the threat of national cooperation is also obvious due to the competitive increase and economic downturns. As a recommendation, the national cooperation should focus on leveraging its strength. Strength is the advantage over the competitors and could be leveraged properly to benefit from them. The national cooperation has well-known brand recollections due to its successful and profitable track record. This enhances the confidence of customer and proper marketing strategies should be employed to help the company. Staff experience also allows the sharing of knowledge and leads to a better insight in solving problems. This helps to establish competence and trustworthiness for the national corporations. A compiling clear and concise value propositions can also leave a great impression on the clients and stand out among other competitors. Other than that, the strong relationship between the national corporations and the supplier could also be used to benefit customers by offering a competitive price. Lastly, the continuous improvement and innovations of the company could also increase the competitiveness of the company. Another recommendation is by minimizing the limitation in project management, where successful planning, execution, and risk management are critical to project success. Minimizing limitation and eliminating a weakness is essential. I have listed out three factors that can minimize the limitation. The first is to aware of the resource limitation and prudent allocation. This can minimize the resource limit resulting from the underestimating resource requirement or overloading team. Decide, we have to choose a team that balances other advantages and disadvantages. And it's critical that team members communicate clearly and effectively. Uh, this can encourage team members to discuss restrictions and suits as uh, there are guarantees that problems are dealt with early on, this preventing them from becoming more serious concerns. Lastly, creating backup plan for recognized goal and restriction as a safety precaution that can minimize the limitation. By outlining the step to be done in the event of a difficulty, pre plan strategy enable project manager to move quickly. This effort is further supported by regular project monitoring and reporting process that may be possible to identify deviation from the project. Limitation must be identified early in order to minimize their influence on project outcome. Another recommendations are actively grabbing opportunity as it can take advantage for company or business future development. Firstly, company need to focus on research and development when the company has a consistent profit network. This is because the research and development teams need time to analyze the company product limits and develop a new technology which can create the product's value which is all specialist features. Move beyond research and development, opportunity of investments in research and equipment is also important as high quality equipment can boost up the product brand and customer interest. Last but not least, keep track of the Target customer needs and the competitor's performance is also a strategy for grabbing an opportunity as fulfilling customer needs and trend is the key to make the company profitable. Last but not least, the last recommendation is aware of potential threat, especially undertaking complex projects. For example, poor coordination between engineering and sales department faced by national cooperation resulting in a disjoint response to the customer needs. Therefore, fostering cross-functional collaboration among departments is important for streamlined processes and enhanced communication. Besides, stay alert to emerging technologies and attractive to prevent obsolescence and help the company to stay competitive. Next, for since external factors such as change in customer requirements and market conditions are also another potential trend. Therefore, aligning customer requirements is essential for customer loyalty and satisfaction. In summary, the awareness of the threat is an important aspect to navigate the high-stake project successfully. Apart from that, this project Fairpacker is benchmarking with several cases in Malaysia across construction, allied operation, and manufacturing. First, Profession, which is a construction startup company, emphasized the importance of digital transformation of construction project management. Next, Fractionized Twin Tower Construction underscored the needs of project manager in overseeing various facts of a project. Then, financial mismanagement of my online shows the importance of financial planning, strategy decision making, and resources allocation in project management. Last but not least, the forced labor allegation at Top Glove highlight the importance of communication, project planning, and execution to mitigate the unforeseen risks. In conclusion, our group have provided an insight to project for faculty with background, witnesses, alternative and solution in specific area, SWOT analysis as proposed solution and recommendation, and end with benchmarking with Malaysia cases. 
that's all from our group and thank you everyone